Hi guys, Shells here from Shell Spa Products, and today I'm going to be making um, a soap. It is hazelnut toffee from Brambleberry, um, and it smells amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has a lot of vanillin in it, so I'm just going to make some white, um, and then I'm going to not put fragrance in the white part, and then I'm going to put the fragrance in the part that I know is probably going to discolor, so... That's how I'm going to roll with this soap. Um, I've already got my kaolin clay in here, and I need to grab a pair of gloves. Let's see. I did get my titanium dioxide mixed up there, so... Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a blend here to get the clay mixed in before I add the lye water. I've already got my lye water made up with some silk in it. So. And again, in this loaf, I'll be using a 5% water discount just for the soda ash. Seems to be working really well that way, so I'll just keep doing that. <laughs> Not sure why I always get soda ash, just always have ever since I started soaping. So. <laughs> Could just be a humid climate that I'm in. I'm not really sure. <laughs> some for the white. I don't want to add a bunch more water. That's plenty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. And not in there. Mmm. Man, that one just smells so buttery and just mm, yummy. So good. Mmm. I've been wanting to use that one since I got it last year, so go ahead and dip here. I think I'm just going to do a regular, um, just a drop swirl on this one. <clears throat> Nothing to extra fancy. All right, 
got my mold lined this time. So there's that. and just pour a good bit of that in there. I have a feeling this is going to be really pretty. really thin, but that is okay with me. Right to the top. I do have a little bit extra, but I'm going to wait till it thickens up um, and then I'll just kind of put it on top. I think that should work out okay. All right, I'll pause for that. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue on the edge. Just put this in here. As long as I let it set for a minute before I move it, it should be just fine. And then I'll just texture the top or something. But, oops, starting to run over a little bit there on the edge. But um, that's that for this one, and then I'll bring you back for the cutting. Thanks for watching, guys.